Have you ever been on a date with a girl and you had all these awkward silences and you didn't know what to say? So when the awkward silences happened, you either kind of looked around or started filling in that silent void with kind of meaningless conversation and just didn't feel natural. If that's the case, then keep watching this video because I'll give you the exact steps to take in order to keep from having these awkward silences or rather what to do with them and how to build deep connections with girls you've just met or that you're out on a date with. All right, so the problem with awkward silences on a date or with a girl you've just met isn't really the awkward silence itself. It's actually what you do with it. Most guys, when they get an awkward silence, are worried that they're gonna lose a connection or you know they're doing badly on a date. And they feel a lot of pressure to be able to uphold the entire conversation. Well, the first thing is, if you're on a date and the conversation goes silent, it's not necessarily because you're a bad conversationalist. Maybe she's a bad conversationalist, right? It's something we don't usually think about uh, on the flip side there. You know, just because a girl's beautiful doesn't make her a good conversationalist or good of any kind of social skills whatsoever. However, when you're on the date, you know, whether she has good social skills or not, as a man, of course, you want to try to make it the best date possible. You want to make, make it go somewhere, maybe a second date if she's worth it or take her home or whatever it may be. To make that happen, you have to lead. You have to lead the conversation, right? But what does leading a conversation mean? Basically, leading a conversation means that you're actually taking it in a certain direction, right? It's not just kind of randomly bouncing back and forth between whatever. But, but the main thing you want to do in a conversation with a girl you've just met or that you're on a date with is to get her to open up and share about herself with you. Because when people share about themselves and they share something personal, or something meaningful to themselves that creates trust and that creates a connection, that creates a feeling of chemistry. And one of the biggest mistakes I see the guys make in conversations with women is that they're bouncing around from one topic to another to another. And it's usually a superficial topic. They'll, they'll say something like, you know, what, what's your job? And the girl says she's in nursing. And then they go into another thing. Oh, where do you live? Oh, uh, have you been to Hawaii? Do you like dogs? Whatever. It's just one thing after another after another. And it's just basically, you know, a crapshoot with absolutely no direction. And she, you're not getting here to share anything meaningful about herself with you, which means you're losing a lot of opportunities there to build a connection, which is what you want to do on a date. So how do you get her to open up and share? Well, that's very simple. Usually you want to start with a what question or a how did you get into that kind of question? And it starts very simply with what did you, you know, what do you do for work? And I know I just mentioned that question as being one of those kind of boring questions that the guys randomly jump into and it's very superficial and it can be. However, if you have the right follow-up questions, then it becomes something meaningful. For example, if you ask her, why did she get into that job? Or how did she get into that job? Because work is very significant for most people. It takes a, up a substantial amount of time in our, our lives and very often requires a lot of training and dedication and people go to school for years for a lot of different jobs. So finding out why she got into that job and what the background story is, you know, what led up to this point is very valuable. When you, can, when you can get her to open up and share about that stuff, it will start building a connection. It's not everything, by the way. I'm just talking about verbal stuff here. And that conversation can lead into a a lot of other conversations which are more meaningful and deeper and will help you build a better connection. Or you, you may not want to stay on the job topic for very long but starting there and finding out why she's doing that job or how she got into it is a great starting point because a lot of information is going to come out and it's going to reveal a lot about her personality like why she got into that is going to reveal who she is or, or a big chunk about who she is. In general I like to stick to the 60-40 rule so my 60-40 rule is I'm going to be talking maybe 40% of the time with a woman and I'm going to be getting her to speak at least 60% maybe more and because they're gonna be leading the conversation getting her to open up and share about stuff that's significant and meaningful to her I'm gonna be working on building that connection and of course when she asks me questions I'm gonna answer them as well we're gonna to contribute to the conversation it's not that, you know you don't want to be a log sitting there and not contribute to the conversation it's still important that you talk but you want to get her to talk more right? it's more important that you get her to talk especially in the beginning she probably actually doesn't really care that much about you right she probably has some interest and she wants to learn about you but before you really build a connection with anybody they're not gonna care that much about you right They're, they only care about themselves and getting them to talk about themselves is going to be the most interesting thing in the world to them and also so how do you deal with awkward silences so the awkward silences like i mentioned earlier are not the worst part it's, there's nothing wrong with an awkward silence but how you deal with it is going to make or break that moment and you can actually use it to build some attraction whenever i get an awkward silence what i do is just look into her eyes and i smile a little bit or smirk a little bit i let the pressure go onto her shoulders to continue the conversation right i don't, I don't jump in there and try to fill in that awkward silence or that, that void it's only awkward if you feel awkward right if you're a boss if you're really confident you're not going to care that much you're just going to look at her and smile and what i found from experience is most girls will jump in and they'll try to fill in that awkward void and these moments will build sexual tension is that and that's what you need one of the problems with jumping in and 
trying to fill in an awkward silence is that you're breaking the tension. Most guys break the tension and they eliminate great opportunities to build up sexual tension. You don't want to destroy sexual tension. Tension is great when used properly. So if you have an awkward silence, just look into your eyes and smile a little bit. You're, you're probably going to naturally smile, right? It's not, not a forced thing, but because you're going to be staring into your eyes and she's staring into yours, you're not saying anything. It's just going to bring out that emotional response. I've been on many dates where girls have commented how strong my eye contact is and they go home with me after. Because I'm gonna focus on eye contact over verbal skills any day. Because that's one of the best things you can do to build sexual tension and create attraction is just by looking into your eyes and not darting around and looking insecure or looking away and trying to break the tension. They lead the conversation, get her to open up and share about herself. Let her talk most of the time. And when those silent moments come, I'm gonna stop calling them awkward silences because they really don't have to be. But when those silent moments come, take advantage of them. Just look in her eyes and smile and let her fill in that void with whatever she wants to talk about. You don't have to do it every single time. So in any case, that's all for today. Please leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Let me know if you have another method or something, or if you have any questions you want to ask. And also don't forget to hit the like button because it does a lot to help with the YouTube algorithms and get more people to see the video. And subscribe and hit the bell notification and go for a run or something like that. Do a whole bunch of stuff, whatever you want to, I don't know. In any case, until next time, conquer and win.